my fellow comic book collectors. Today is another Would You Rather video where I'm going to be basically looking at two books that I bought um, a couple. Actually, I bought both of these books about the same time two years ago. <laughs> and um, one was a hot spec and one was just a cool comic that I just personally love. So um, I'm going to show you the two books and I'm going to see which would you rather have bought or which way would you have you know, which way do you want to spend your money? So these are books that I paid um, $115 each for. And um, if you had that money, which which would you have spent the money on? Which of the two books? So we're going to start with the hot spec. And this was a really hot spec at the time. So this is going back two years. <laughs> a lot has happened in two years. Uh, this was the hot spec at the time. Uh, this was um, Moon Knight. Um, which is Marvel Spotlight 28. And this was the first solo series for Moon Knight. And this was, you know, I, I was buying this just before, you know, word had sort of gotten out about, um, you know, the Moon Knight show. And, uh, you know, there was some hype around this, this particular book because, you know, it's the first solo story of um, Moon Knight. And... It also has a whole bunch of first appearances in it, which I, I was, I didn't realize. <laughs> uh, it has the first appearance of uh, Marlene Fontaine, uh, Samuels, and Crowley. So a bunch of first appearances in it as well. Um, so yeah, so this was a pretty hot book. Um, and for, at the time, I thought for 115, seems like a good deal. So that's what I paid for this one. Um, now, to give you some census idea of this book, uh, this book has 2,874 on the census, universal grades. And um, now this book had, it became popular, it became a hot book. Uh, it went up to $400 at one point. That was its peak <laughs> um, for, for this grade. So it's a 7.0, it's like, so, you know, sort of a mid grade. Um, and it was a book that just, it skyrocketed. Now it's come back. <laughs> it has definitely come back since then, uh, back to it's closer to its original price, which is what I paid. Um, I, as I said, I paid 115 for it. It's kind of dropped back down to the last sale was, there was two sales recently. One was for um, $117 and another was for 255 <laughs> which is re really, you know, like all over the place in terms of value. Um, but they put the fair market value on this book as being $150. So this is the first book. This is my hot spec book of the of the two. And it was a book that I thought was really kind of cool. Um, so yeah, so, um, and, you know, I wasn't buying it for the spec. I'm not, a, I'm not like, I'm not a flipper. So <laughs> I'm buying these because I, I kind of like both books. And um, the second book is one that is not hot. It's not like, it's not something that will ever be a hot, you know, one of those hot list books, but it is a cool book. It's a cool book uh, because it's, um, you know, this kind of jungly kind of pre-code, uh, pre-code uh, pre comic. Uh, and it's a Fox publication. Fox publication had so many un unusual and crazy things that were going on with it. It was extreme, uh, you know, sexiness and uh, violence. And Jojo was kind of like the pinnacle of all that. It had like, you know, these women wearing these bikinis <laughs> running around in the jungle and then just had extreme violence. Like, look, you can see like she's stabbing the snake. <laughs> it's like kind of like going like almost going through the head of the snake. <laughs> So, and this other guy's like fighting a, a panther in the background, you know, just, you know, pretty crazy stuff. Um, and it's just a, it's a cool book. Um, lots of sexiness in it, uh, like, you know, lots of bikini clad girls. So lots of good girl art, lots of really famous artists worked on this, like Matt Baker and Jack Kamen. So just a lot of stuff that makes this a cool comic. Now, is this a comic that is going to be, as I said, it's not going to be on the hot list. It's not going to be one that people are going to be speculating on. Oh, this is the next movie that's coming up. No, there's there's nothing. There's nothing behind this other than just coolness and age. 
I mean, this is a Golden Age book. Uh, came out in 1948, I believe. Uh, so it's, you know, it's a fairly old book as well. Um, and it's, um, you know, it's a lower grade. It's like a 2.5. But it, it shows well. Uh, the other cool thing about these Fox publications is that he was very, the Victor Fox, um, is it Victor or Vincent? I always get this name mixed up. Um, <laughs> he always would use um, uh, like pink paper, which was the cheapest type of paper you could use. So it's, you know, on some books you'll see it says white pages. Well, an ideal book for this one, like an ideal page quality would be pink pages because it was pink paper. And you can almost see it uh, like right in here. You can see how it's kind of going through <laughs> the, 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 you know, the white is actually added on. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, it's kind of got that pinkness underneath. Um, but uh, it was kind of a very interesting thing, very cheap paper. So these things didn't really survive very well. So just a lot of cool things about this book. Um, you know, if you're interested in the golden age, this would be kind of like a, you know, fun collection to get. It's one that I've been working on. Uh, so yeah, so this was my cool book, and this was my hot book. So the question is, which would you rather? Would you rather the hot book, the hot new spec, or would you rather um, uh, the cool golden age book? So with the hot book, um, you know, maybe it would have been a better investment. If I was a like a speculator or somebody who was um, buying books to really capitalize on that, you know, price swing, this would have been a great investment because it went up to, as I said, it went up to $400 just around the time the show came out. And that would have been a great time to have sold this book. Uh, and even now, uh, because, you know, I mean, the show wasn't necessarily that successful, but uh, it did popularize the character. And we know that the character is probably going to be in future projects for the MCU. Uh, so this book has gone up. I mean, it's, as I said, the, the fair market value is now around 150 and there's been sales recently as high as 250 So I would have doubled my money on this one. Now this one, <laughs> um, I, I want to give you a little bit better census information and how much this has gone up and where it's gone in the last two years. It is worth anywhere from $125 to $150. So at the end of the day, both books are the same value. <laughs> <laughs> same fair market value. It's it's kind of ironic. And, you know, one went through this big curve and craziness, but this was kind of slow and steady, almost like the, the tortoise. Um, there's only 20 of these on the census. It's a fairly rare book, uh, and which is which always surprises me. For such a rare book, it is very affordable, uh, comparatively. So that's the two books. Comment below, which would you rather have, the, the cool golden age or the hot spec? <laughs> so I like to hear people's opinions. And what way do you buy comics? Um, personally, I buy comics because I love the comics. I think, you know, I like the Moon Knight character. I think he's cool. Uh, and also I like my 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 golden age, uh, you know, good girl art comics as well. So I'd like to hear people's opinions and um, give me your feedback. Uh, what books would you like me to do uh, Would You Rather on? And um, I'd like to hear people's opinions about this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.